Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're stuck trying to install Windows 11, update KB5060829, and it keeps failing with error code 0x800F0983, don't worry. You're not alone, and no, you don't have to reinstall Windows. Let me walk you through exactly how to fix it, step by step. No fluff, just clean solutions that actually work. First, we'll reset the Windows Update Engine. Click, Start, Type CMD, right-click Command Prompt. Choose Run as Administrator, then enter these two commands one at a time. Netstop, Wazerv. Netstop Bits. This stops Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Services temporarily. Now open File Explorer and navigate to C colon Windows, colon Software Distribution, colon Open the Download and Data Store folders. Delete all the contents inside both. This clears out any corrupted or incomplete update files. Back in the command prompt, type netstart well serve, netstart bits. Now go to settings, Windows update, and try checking for updates again. If that didn't work, let's repair your system files. In the same elevated command prompt, type sfc slash s e is a n n o w. Wait for it to complete. Then run dism slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Let DSM check and restore the health of your system image. Now go to the Microsoft Update Catalog, link in the description. Search for KB5060829. Find the correct version for your system. Most users should pick X64. Click download and run the .msu installer manually. This bypasses the buggy update engine and often works flawlessly. Still stuck? Temporarily disable any third-party antivirus or firewall software before running the update again. These can block update components behind the scenes. Also, make sure Secure Boot is enabled in BIOS if you recently changed boot settings. Still no luck? Use the official Windows 11 Update Assistant. It'll reapply the latest cumulative update safely. If that fails, download the media creation tool, run a repair install, and choose to keep your files and apps. It'll replace the update files without wiping anything. And that's it. One of these steps should get KB5060829 installed and fix that annoying 0x800F0983 error. If this worked for you, smash that like button subscribe for more, drop a comment below. I respond to everyone. Thanks for watching.